Come to Israel with me. I'm Andy Cook, and I would love to take you to the land of the Bible. Come walk in the same place, in the same land where Abraham once walked, and, and Elijah, and David, and all those kings. And of course, where Jesus and the disciples spent all their time as they put together the most amazing story in history. You could be there. You could go with us. Uh, this trip's a little different from other trips you may have heard about or read about or investigated or perhaps even traveled to Israel on. Instead of me telling you about what we do, I think I would like to let some of our past travelers tell you what it's like to go with Experience Israel now. I've been to Israel twice now with Andy Cook, and it really is the trip of a lifetime. It is inspiring. It makes the Bible just absolutely come to life. It is an incredible trip and well worth the time. This is a little different than the, than the regular tours of Israel. This is off the beaten path. This is going places that rest of the tour groups uh, very rarely ever see. And um, it's really different and it's really worth the trip. Uh, you're gonna climb some mountains, you're gonna go through tunnels. Uh, you're gonna go places that, will, that the Bible talks about and that will be inspiring to you and you will never ever forget. It's unique in that it offers experiences um, hiking through the wilderness and doing a lot of outdoor activities, which is what we like to do. This is, is truly amazing and to be here, to be with our feet walking where Jesus walked, to be down in the tunnel where the, where the water, where the cistern was, where the water was actually drawn, it, it is truly amazing. The layers and layers of history, um, it, it's mind-boggling. I don't, words can't even comprehend what we're experiencing. Yeah, to be able to see these sites firsthand and you know we've read about them we've heard about them but to be here and actually see them for yourself it's just truly amazing it's just so overwhelming and, and such a, a moment that i'll never forget oh gosh uh this tour i mean all the tours we've been doing climbing masada climbing uh, uh mount carmel uh, all the hiking we've been doing actually uh well that your phrase you, you learn with your feet you definitely have a much better appreciation for it, how they live. Right? Um, it makes it more personal and it verifies um, at least my walk with God because um, before when I just read the scripture it was just um, you know a story and oh that you know that sounds good or whatever but actually you know walking and climbing. It's invigorating and exciting but humbling at the same time. <laughs> and every day was full of new experiences and new places to see and it absolutely made the Bible come true and made it come alive. And I really could talk all day about Israel by going to Israel. Now, the Bible is not just another book, but the Bible really is the living Bible. Last trip I went on, I'd had open heart surgery three months prior to going, but I went anyway. And some of the climbing I could do and some of it I couldn't, but there are options if you can't. And going with Andy's a, a, a real pleasure because he's like us. He likes to uh, uh, get out and do things and meet people and really uh, experience things other than riding around in a bus looking out the window. This trip has been the most amazing trip of my life. I've traveled before, but I have never traveled like this. Uh, I'm going home with a renewed spirit and ready to follow my Lord with my whole heart. You know, I never get tired of hearing those stories, and I never tire of making brand new ones. I'd love to make some new stories with you. Now, if you're considering going to Israel with us, if you want to experience the land the way our past travelers have, here's what I would like you to do. There's an important document on this website called the Terms and Conditions. You need to read that and be thoroughly familiar with it. There are also some frequently asked questions on that document, and I think you'll, you'll find most of your questions are answered there. Um, if not, you can contact us. We'll be glad to answer your questions. Going to Israel is an expensive venture. It costs a lot of money, so you need to carefully plan and carefully consider all the different options. Going to Israel is an expensive trip physically. The trip in and of itself, the plane ride along, is very demanding. It takes a long time to get to that part of the world. And it's, it's two weeks of intense activity. We, we ask our people to be ready to hike about 75 miles in a two week time period. It's not an overwhelming pace. It's not something that most people can't do, but you need to be ready physically because we're gonna hike and we're gonna climb some mountains. We're gonna get into some tunnels. We're gonna go down into some caves. It, 
if there's a way to experience the land that, that we can take part in, that's what we're going to do. That's why we call this an Experience Israel Now kind of trip. So you got to be ready physically. You also need to be ready spiritually and emotionally. As soon as you start talking about going to Israel, someone's going to ask you about, about going to such a dangerous place because we've all heard the news that seems to continually come out of Israel. You would think it's a war zone, but it's not. There are nine million people living in Israel today and they're going to school, they're going to grocery stores and hardware stores. And yes, occasionally they have some, some violence and, and in the past they've had some wars. And we'll have to adjust if the tensions in the Middle East happen to flare up during the time of our trip. But here's what I've said to most people who are worried about going to Israel. I've taken my wife, I've taken my children, I've taken a son-in-law, I'm, I'm hoping to take more of my family, grandchildren one day. I've taken so many of my friends to Israel. And, and frankly, if it weren't safe, not only would I not go, I would not invite you to go, but I am inviting you to go. And I think you'll find that, that, that Israel is an amazingly safe and friendly place. Most of our travelers feel like they found a second home by the time they finish their tour. Spiritually, if you want to go with us, I need you to be prayed up. I need you to read the Bible a lot before you go. And we're going to ask you to memorize some, some passages of Scripture that you'll be responsible for. And when we get to a certain location in Israel, you'll know when it's your time to, to quote that passage. I'm telling you, our travelers have told us that's one of the most exhilarating parts of this entire experience to not only be in the land of the Bible, but to have the Bible passages in your heart and to quote them on location. It's absolutely a fantastic experience. The whole thing is fantastic, and I hope you can go with us. We're headed back to Israel. I'd love to take you with us. Come, go to the land of the Bible with me. You'll never be the same.